Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's live video, Respecting Everyone's Boundaries. Respect your kids' boundaries to teach them how to have and respect, well, your boundaries. Caregivers and parents, are you tired of constantly asking to have your boundaries respected? Do your kids not respect your things or your personal space? It can get really frustrating. Give me the next five minutes and I'll share how to teach your kids to be respectful about your boundaries and others' boundaries and why we need to intentionally ask and then respect our kids' boundaries. If you'd like to see my longer video on boundaries, ah, interesting. All right, we had a problem with the broadcast. There we go, back to it, okay. If you would like to see my longer video on boundaries and my parenting method called Cubed that gets into how my clients and I focus on connection, are intentional about boundaries, and build integrated families, comment boundaries below and I'll get you that link. For those of you who aren't aware, my name is Matt Kenyon and I am a family relationship coach and the owner of Free Thought Coaching, where I help parents end the conflict build happily integrated families, and create intentional boundaries. My promise is that there is always at least one strategy, tip, tool, or piece of advice that you can use right after watching my videos. So we all have boundaries that we need respected, right? Parents, kids, everybody. In order for us to have our boundaries respected as parents in our homes, we have to teach this skill. It's not a natural thing but it is a skill that is key to being successful in life. One of the best ways to teach our kids to respect our boundaries and others is to ask them about their boundaries and then show that we will respect their boundaries. I mean, let's face it, every human being has a need for boundaries, even our kids. In fact, some might even argue some animals have needs for boundaries too, right? So respect our own and the boundaries of others is really the goal here because that is a fundamental skill to being a successful adult. But yet it seems to get overlooked not only in parenting books, but in school and other places. So how do we do this? Well, rule number one is make sure they are clear. And we can do this by involving our kids in writing down the boundaries sit down with them, write them down together. That way they're involved in this process. We can ask our kids to repeat back to us the agreement or the boundary that we just discussed, or, you know, maybe we just discussed it and came up with it, or maybe it's about ready to become relevant. Say, for example, you have a teenager who's about ready to drive out to go out and hang out with some friends with your car. You may want to ask, hey, what time is the car supposed to be back? Nine o'clock. Cool. And what is the consequence that we've agreed to if the car is not back by nine o'clock? Or maybe a younger kid. Hey, I see you're struggling. You've been struggling to get yourself ready in, in the morning. What can I do to help you? And then the follow-up, what will be the consequence, do you think, if you're not ready to go to school on time when the bus comes? Rule number two, stick to them. How will you ensure natural consequences, right? If you stick to these boundaries, which can be difficult, how will you have natural consequences? And that doesn't mean grounding them if they did something that's completely unrelated to leaving the house without permission. It's natural consequences. It's, hey, you broke the vase. Now you have to figure out how to repay for the vase or you broke the window or my car got into an accident and now I have to pay my deductible to my car insurance. Now you have to pay that deductible. And help your kids make their own boundaries, right? Sit down with them and ask them what are their boundaries. You know, one of them might be no hugs in front of friends or maybe Molly has asked you not to yell her name during her basketball game because it's distracting and embarrassing to her. Those are boundaries that we should then turn around and respect, right? Sometimes our boundary is going to conflict with our kids. We need to find agreements when that happens. And then work through those agreements and those conflicts so that everybody can have boundaries that make sense to them. Use a reasonability test. That way you can know whether you're being reasonable about holding your guns or 
if this is really a case where you should maybe give a little. Just take some time, sleep on it, be intentional, and think about the bigger picture of these boundaries and how they affect everything that's going on in your life. And then make effort not to violate anybody else's boundaries that they've asked for. Unless, of course, it's a matter of safety, life limb kind of thing. And then if you have the time, double check with someone else to make sure that you're being reasonable. Sometimes we get emotional about our boundaries and we forget to be reasonable. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Show empathy and compassion instead of setting the child straight about the rules. Help them understand and make agreements as you go. Do not try to do it all at once. It will get easier as you go. And then teach this lifelong skill by modeling it for them and giving them the opportunity to see both sides of the situation. In the long run, all of this effort at being clear, helping your kids understand yours and their boundaries will pay off in the end. To see my longer video on boundaries and my parenting method called Cube that gets into how my clients and I build connection, are intentional about boundaries, and build happily integrated families, comment hashtag boundaries below and I will get you that link. In case you did miss it, I am going live at 2 p.m. Central Time today, so in about 53 minutes, uh, for a free webinar, a live webinar on the five love languages as described by Gary Chapman in his book series by the same name. You can find the details in the Connected Parenting Facebook group. The event is pinned up to the top in the featured section. Please join in on the fun or watch the replay if you can't catch it live. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and be intentional about boundaries. Happy parenting.